Hi there, it's Ralph. I hope you are doing great. In today's video, I would like to share with you the three assets I am adding in every project in Unity. If you're a beginner and you never heard or used those assets, they are really worth learning. Let's go. If you're making a 3D game, you absolutely need ProBuilder. You can model and texture within Unity. Now, it's not a full-fledged Blender alternative, but it is perfect for prototyping and you can also do a full game with it if you want to. Superhot has made all their levels with ProBuilder. There is also ProGrids that works very well with it and gives you some more controls over the 3D grid and has some more snapping options. I use ProBuilder and ProGrids in every 3D project and it really allows me to iterate very quickly on the games that I create. For my Game Jam game Lockdown 2020, I have created the full house with ProBuilder. Not the furniture, only the house. And I can tell you it's super efficient. Next up, you know this one. It's the one and only Cinemachine. I will say it. It is the best tool out there to manage everything related to cameras. From automatically handling transitions between cameras, fully configurable tracking and even collision handling, it's an amazing tool and it allows you to be quickly productive and very creative. Some people prefer to code their own camera system. I personally don't. And Cinemachine is an Emmy Award winning tool. Emmy Award winning tool. You can do nothing wrong with it. And not long time ago, Unity released an iOS app called Unity Virtual Camera. And it allows you to control your Cinemachine cameras in real time. Now this will allow for some epic indie filmmaking. And last but not least, one asset that really improves the way I work with animations is DoTween. DoTween is a tweening library. It's basically an animation engine. It allows you to animate certain properties by code instead of using animators. You can use it on transforms, rigid bodies, materials, and even UI elements. And for UI elements, it's much more efficient and much more powerful than using animators. Even Unity itself says to go easy on animators when working with canvases. So a tweening library is a really great alternative. There are many tweening libraries out there. DoTween is simply my favorite one that I use all the time. It's free and there's a paid version with a few more features. All right, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a thumbs up on your way out. And if you want to learn more about game dev, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I release a new video. That would be awesome. With that being said, I thank you very much for watching this video. Keep it up and see you next time.